Hello and welcome Aquarius. I am Pisces Intuition. Here with your weekly check up and check in. So let's see what is coming in for Aquarius for the week of March 2nd through March 8th. Alright, air signs. I don't know what is going on in the love department with y'all. Hopefully Aquarius has a little bit better news. Aquarius, what is coming in for Aquarius for this week? March 2nd through March 8th. March 2nd through March 8th. All right. Okay. Okay. So it does look like we've got some kind of scary looking things coming, but it's nothing you can't handle and it's actually going to work out. All right, so bottom of the deck, we do have strength. Now, the reason the strength card is showing up for this reading is because you're going to have to find that inner strength and patience to kind of get through. Um, just know, like I said, yes, it's going to be some tough times. Yes, it's going to you know feel kind of difficult getting there, but just know this is going to lead to something positive, something better. Um, underneath that, we do have the hangman and we have the ace of pentacles, exactly what I said. So, you know, hangman, like I said, it may cause you to be, I think you're already, um, Aquarius, I think you guys are already in kind of in that, um, stagnant type of energy trying to figure something out, but it's like a light bulb went off or it soon will where you get that idea. you you know, see the bigger picture and you know what it is that you need to do or how you need to move forward to this ace of pentacles, this new beginning, um, could be financial stability, could be growing, um, you know, a firm foundation with someone. So again, um, but all of this is going to take patience and it's going to, like I said, take that inner strength. Alrighty, so Aquarius, um, we do show, or we have you, have the reading starting off by showing you as the Five of Wands. So, you know, you're feeling very kind of defensive, kind of combative. This is a power struggle. This is competition. Um, you know, so we're starting off the week like this. This could be in within a relationship. This could be, you know, a third party situation. This could be work. You know, this could be even family life, you know, whatever the case is, like I said, you're just feeling very, um, very combative, you know, argumentative, um, like you're having to protect yourself. Like I said, you know, power struggle, um, you know, and like you're, you're having to compete with someone. Now the problem is, <laughs> Um, we do have the tower card showing up as the problem. And the reason I think it's showing up as a problem is because it's like you're fighting against it. You're not wanting this to happen. You're keeping the tower from happening. It's like you're kind of um, causing a delay for this tower to happen and what needs to happen to this situation in order for it to, for you to get out of this energy and to move forward is this tower. This tower needs to happen. And ultimately it will. You can't stop this from happening. You can delay it. Yes, but that's only going to delay you and your progress as well. Um, just go with the flow. That's the best advice I can give you is go with the flow. All right. So now we come down here um, to your current environment, which is the Ten of Wands. You know, feeling very stressed out. Again, very overwhelmed. Um, it's that uphill battle and feeling like you're doing it all by yourself. You know, you're having to carry all these heavy burdens all by yourself. You know, no one's here to help you. Again, this is almost kind of um, delaying your own progress in the sense that, you know, for some of you, um, Aquarius, I'm getting that you are too proud to ask for help. And you're just like, no, I got it. I'll do it myself. You know, I don't, I don't need you. I don't need anybody. You know, it's that very strong independent streak. And ultimately, like I said, it's kind of working against you. Um, now over here for the solution to this tower, like I said, after this tower happens, because all you're doing is kind of delaying the progress, the tower is going to happen no matter what. So the best thing to do is to go with the flow instead of against it. Let the tower happen because after that tower happens, we have clarity. We have happiness. We have that light at the end of the tunnel. We have the sun card. 
So again, you know, clarity, light at the end of the tunnel, happiness. You know, this is the happiest card in the deck. You know, and it's, it just kind of feels like a long time coming. Um, you know, outcome. Like I said, this is going to cause you to kind of do some soul searching with the Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but ultimately, like I said, this is causing you to do some soul searching. And I think that's kind of what you're trying to avoid. Uh, for some reason, you don't want... It's like you have the answers within you, Aquarius. But you don't want to either face them or you're just you're trying to silence that little voice you know it's like you have the answers but at the same time you're you're denying something you're trying to stop something from happening like i said either you're not listening to that little voice um and therefore it's just kind of i don't know aquarius ultimately i'm just getting that you're kind of just delaying yourself and what you're you know ultimately delaying is your happiness because then you know we have it's almost like you're delaying an ending. This could be in a relationship. Uh, I'm not getting so much work. I'm getting more of like a relationship. It's like you don't want to let go of this person, even though this person has either possibly already let go of you or you're, you're the one that's no longer kind of feeling it anymore. It's like, you know, something's different here. Something's changed. You know, it's not like what it used to be. Um, I don't know if I'm in love with this person. You know, this could be your energy. This could be their energy. You know, please take it how it resonates. But it's just like, you know, something's changed here. But instead of just letting it go, you're still kind of fighting for it. You know, what are you trying to prove here? It's like you don't want to give up. It's like you're trying to prove somebody wrong or you're trying to prove. Or maybe it's like you're just. I don't know if it's ego getting in the way or something, but it's like, you know, you're, all you're doing is kind of breaking your back and hurting yourself and delaying ultimately your abundance and your happiness. Um, all right. We do have a need for you to kind of, like I said, take that break, you know, um, let the situation go, you know, quit fighting against things, just kind of go with the flow you're going to find it's a lot easier if you, you know, just do that. Again, let this ending happen. Let this tower happen. Um, because then ultimately, like I said, it's going to bring out your happiness, your abundance. It's going to bring out, um, you know, celebrations. You know, this uh, Three of Cups, this could be you reuniting with someone else. For some of you, I think this is about someone else. Like, I think you have someone else on your mind. And you're in a current partnership, but it just doesn't feel right. Hmm. All right. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and take a take an oracle for you. This is going to be for love. This could be for the relationship. Um, you know, whatever comes out. But yeah, Aquarius, like I said, ultimately you're just kind of delaying yourself, delaying your own happiness. It's like you're fighting for something that's just not there. That either you've kind of already let go or, you know, your person has. But I think you're scared if, if you let go or if you let this happen, you let this end, what's going to be after. But you're not seeing that there's going to be happiness or something better coming in for you. All right, so we do have the card of Twin Flames. Um, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So, yeah, so you have someone coming in. Like I said, I think this person is someone from your past. It's like you already have this person on your mind. And maybe that's why it's kind of hard to hold on to this current situation, this current relationship. But like I said, for some reason, you're not going to let it end. It's like you're trying to hold on to both people or you're holding on to this particular situation or relationship because the person that's on your mind, you're not together, you're not communicating, and you don't know if there will be communication in the future. You don't know if you, there's a chance. Um, bottom of the deck as well, we do have wedding rings. This is talking about union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. 
So Aquarius, for some of you, maybe your person is married. Um, maybe you're married. Um, or ultimately, this could lead to the two of you, you know, your twin flame and you um, reuniting, you know, coming into union. Um, you know, married, but ultimately, like I said, soul connection. Yeah, underneath that, this feels very relevant. Um, camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. It's like this person is really stuck on your mind. Like I said, you want to reunite with this person, but for some reason, you're letting the current situation um, just kind of hold you back. It's like you're not letting that go. Let's go ahead and take an energy oracle for Aquarius. Ooh, all right. So, yeah, see? Heart chakra, fourth chakra, blah. <laughs> fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Um, heart chakra. Again, you know, guys, it's like you have you have so much passion for someone else. They're on your mind. You want to reunite with them. You feel this crazy connection with them, but yet you're not with them. Huh? Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have all tied up. It's like, you're not moving towards them. They're not moving towards you there. It's like, it feels, it's like you both are kind of lost without each other, but at the same time, Okay, so on the top of the deck, we have caring connections. Yeah, so maybe you don't want to hurt the current person um, that you're with. And that's why you're kind of fighting to hang on or you're trying to prove someone wrong. Maybe it's kind of out of spite um, for the person in the past. You know, just like, I don't know. I don't know, Aquarius. Um... But yeah, but for some reason you're hanging on to this present situation, this present relationship, even though it's not the one you want, it's not the person you want. Hmm. All right. Um, well, Aquarius, you know, some big decisions, like I said, uh, definitely instead of fighting against the flow, go with the flow. It'll make things a lot easier, you know, because all you're doing is, you know, delaying this beautiful ending here. Yeah, you've got like reunions, celebrations, happiness, the happiest card in the deck, heart chakra, opening up that heart chakra, you know, wanting to go ahead and make that move towards this person. You know, this person could be, you know, your twin flame. Um, you know, like I said, definitely there's a strong soul connection between you guys. So, all right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. Um, I do hope this helps your situation. Thank you so very much for watching the video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you again soon.